This is my husband Ken, who works in Tokyo. He's a script writer. Through his day in the life, we will show you the lifestyles and cultures of Japan today. The latest electric home appliances and new service of convenience stores. He cannot groom himself without tears in his eyes. You might be able to find something new about Japan. Hope you enjoy the video. Out for a jogging. Ken had a health check and marked worse numbers in multiple parts. He decided to do a daily jogging to lose some weight. After running for 50 minutes, he found a share scooter. Ken is going to take the scooter back to home. The basic rent is 50 yen, and you will need additional 15 yen per minute. After taking shower, he's getting ready for his work. He's going to groom himself. First, え、最近マスクを取る機会が増えてきました。で、そうすると鼻毛の方が出てると打ち合わせなんかしててね、相手の方も気になっちゃうと思うので、なので鼻毛のお手入れをしようと思います。He's going to wax out his wild nose hair. And this is the wax bits. Melt this wax in the microwave. And stick the melted wax onto the stick. Put the wax sticks into the nose hole. From here on, sorry, but I'm not taking any claims from you. What's with your own risk, okay? Looks like the wax is hard enough and ready. Three, two, one. Ah, you will need another bunch of power to groom yourself. Let's get going and start working. Ken is a freelance scriptwriter. With just a computer, he can work from anywhere. He came to Daikanyama in Shibuya area. Closing, stores of all kinds of goods and cafes. It is not as noisy as Shibuya, which is right next to. Ken arrived at Starbucks. He's going to write script for his work. Starbucks in Daikanyama is a popular working and studying space. Wi-Fi, of course, and now the floor above the bookstore is a working space that can be rented by hour. You can change your mind and refresh anytime at the bookstore when your work or study is stuck. People around you are working hard and seems like they are making good effects to each other to work efficiently. Time for lunch. Ken came to Gotanda in Shinagawa area. There are bars and entertainment buildings in this town. It is a busy place in the night time, but... This is an information center for the nighttime entertainment for adults. So, where is he going to have his lunch today? Ken came to Angel Fake Regame, a restaurant where you can enjoy authentic Italian food at a reasonable price. You can order online from the code on the table. They offer mainly for dinner time, but their lunch is also attractive. The omelette rice is a lunch specialty of theirs. A fluffy omelette is on the ketchup rice. Cut a slit in the omelette with a knife and open. A half raw egg almost drips. The special sauce is made by mixing mayonnaise and several kinds of sauces. It comes with a salad and soup for a thousand yen. Very satisfying. Okay, so he's already cheating himself from the day one. Ken came to 7-Eleven, a convenience store. Something they have been upgrading the variety rapidly is healthy food. A guilt-free cream cracker made with brown rice. Sugar, fat, and calorie-free cider pop that even contains fiber. Non-fat chocolate-flavored protein. There is a wide variety of high-protein, low-sugar snacks. 
protein-rich tofu bars for those who don't eat meat or fish, salmon for fish lovers, chicken breast, now a staple in Japan, various flavors are available. If you really want something sweet, there is also a zero-calorie orange jello. These are expanding every day to offer as many healthy options as possible. But look at what Ken chose out of all the great choices. Strawberry mochi daifuku with plenty of cream which looks not so healthy but cute. A little snack time in this space where you can sit freely. Inside the rice cake, plenty of whipped cream with a large strawberry. Let's just leave him alone for a moment and have some tour inside a convenience store. Is it different from the ones in your countries? You can withdraw money from the ATM cashing machine. The white machine in the middle is a delivery box. You can use the system in the photocopy machine to buy tickets for concerts, and you can even choose insurance service from this machine. Looks like he finished his snack time. Ken left the motorcycle at the station and took the train. He took the Yamanote line and headed for Akihabara. Famous for electronic stores, and it is also a town of otaku. Meeting with a client. After the meeting, he headed to Yodobashi Kamera, a huge six-floored electronic store. Looks like he's looking for something. Star Wars character was waiting for him. The evolution of electronic home appliances, Kaden, is remarkable these days. Vacuum cleaner. It bends from the center, so it is easy to clean places like beneath the bed. A microwave with an oven. It can bake, steam, boil, and... We Japanese cannot miss rice cooker. The price is 86,000 yen. Our rice cooker at home costs only one eighth. Wow! An amazing number of hair dryers. It dries your hair and also takes care of your scalp. 47,000 yen. That's a pretty good price. What is this machine? A backpack with a solar panel. You can charge your cell phone from your backpack. The PlayStation 5, which he wanted to buy, was sold out again today. It is getting dark. He will finish dinner here before heading home. The restaurant is on the 8th floor of this building. Enishi Stando. The seats are spacious and what a comfortable place. You can enjoy tantamen and some alcohol drinks at this restaurant. He ordered the restaurant's signature dish, meat and cheese tantamen. Look at it! Wow! Roast beef is spreading on the edge of the bowl. On top of the melted cheese is a raw egg. Underneath the cheese, you'll find shibazuke pickles, cashew nuts, fried onions, regular onion, and noodle. The noodles are so heavy. Spiced noodles. There is a best way to eat this ball. Mix the noodles with the egg and cheese. Wrap the noodles in roast beef and take a bite. The spicy and creamy taste is superb. This is addictive. You can also add vinegar to the noodles to make it more spicy. If you don't like spicy food, don't worry. The spiciness can be adjusted. After getting full, it's time to head home. This is a typical day in the life of Ken, who works in Tokyo. Let's finish around here for today. See you next time. Looking forward to your questions in the comments.